Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to use Prisma in Nuxt 3 to update a user. So this is like part, what, maybe eight or nine, I think, of this series. So, so far, we can add a user. Let's just call him um, Harry. We can do that. Add a user, we can delete the user. And then we can also read all the users here, as you can see. This is the first time you're seeing this tutorial. Just go back through the playlist and you should be able to see all the other ones. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to be able to edit each and every user here by clicking this button. We want to be able to edit a user. So for example, oh, my battery is running low. I need to plug this in. All right, we've plugged that in. Okay, so just as a recap, right, what we're doing here is when we look at the code, we have a front end and then we're sending data to the API and that's and then the API connects to the database. So we're trying, we're targeting this here, right? So we are going to send data to this, um component and then in prisma we're gonna update so we need an id and we need a name so let's do that we're gonna go to the front end here we're gonna create a function here we're just gonna copy this one the add user function we're gonna create a function here called edit user And the edit user, we're gonna create an object here. Instead of just a user, we're gonna create an object called edit user. And this edit, or maybe edited user, let's do that, edited, edited user. And this edited user Will be an object that's going to have an ID. ID first will be actually we'll just say null, and then it's gonna have a name which will be empty. So actually, no, that that'd be null as well. Okay, and then we're gonna pass this edited user here, and then we're going to say. Uh, If edited user, and I'm not sure if this checks if the object is actually empty. Probably doesn't. Let's see. Then we're gonna say um, edited user. Then we're gonna say edited. We're gonna pass in the body. We're gonna say ID because edited user dot ID. And name is going to be edited user dot name like that. So we're going to pass that. Then if edited user, though, we got to check if actually here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to say if edited user ID and edited user dot name. So if we have both, because we need to have both in order for us to pass them to the back user and then uh, we're going to say okay, if added user I'm just gonna call this user here this is what we use to check if anything happened in the back end if something happened then we should return we should have a return here because when we look at this code we're supposed to return a user right if if nothing ha happens here if, if we're missing an ID on name then this is gonna be empty so user, we're gonna say here if user, then user the value get users. This will just refresh the table after we perform the edit. So we get the so the table is refreshed and we get the current data. And this is supposed to be put. All right. So edit user. 
then what we're going what we need to do now is say that we need a model now so we're gonna go to bootstrap go to the models here and then just grab a model we're just gonna grab this one here we're gonna copy this going to put it right here so what this looks like if I click the model that shows up okay good now I need to make sure that if I click this then the model shows up let's do that I'm going to take the button that came with the model remove it from here cut it I want to go to the table that has this edit button. I'm just going to replace it with that model button. Edit. I'm going to put warning here to make it yellow. Everything else can stay the same. Maybe we could just. Yeah, it could stay the same. All right, so now if you click this button, the model should show up. There we go. All right, let's change the model title and add a form here such that whenever we click this button, we're gonna pass this information into the form so we can edit it. Change the title to edit user. And then I'm going to take this form here, this form here, and just place it right in the body of the model. So I'm gonna take this form. Uh, let me see. Actually, I don't need the whole form because the model has a button. The model has that button. So I'm just going to take just this input. Get that input. Copy that. I'm going to place it right there. And then instead of the model user, what we're going to do is that when somebody clicks this button we want to pass this record into the edit user the edited user object so the way we're going to do that is we go to the edit button and i'm going to just bring this stuff down here And here I'm just going to say when you click this button, we are going to say, uh, can I just create a little function right there? Function body. We're going to say, um, user dot id equals edited user dot id see if this will work <laughs> actually no it's the opposite the opposite edit user dot id equals user dot id and then um, edited user dot name edited user like that the edited user dot name equals user dot name let's see if that works and then what i want here is this the v model here is the edited user edited user dot name so this is going to change so what should happen if I click this, 
this record, the user record will pop up in here and then I'll be able to change that. So let's see, Shinmop, oh, that's in the wrong place. It's, it's supposed to pop up here. <laughs> oh man. It's supposed to pop up in the model and the model is up here. So I'm supposed to have a V model here. Edited user dot name. What's the problem now? Oh, I'm on the button. <laughs> Man. Here, edited user right there. Edited user dot name. All right. So Jeremy Yeshua, that pops up there, then I can change that. And if you really wanna know if it's changing, all we need to do is just uh, show it right below it here. Still recording, yes we are. I'm just gonna say right there, edited user. In fact, we're gonna see the whole object what this looks like see that that's the whole object so this is Jeremy issue and it's changing and that's ID one and this is what we're gonna send to the edit user function which we send to the back end which will record it in the database see that Shabbat Shalom da, 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 da. Valerie okay awesome so the next thing we need to do now is we need to add a function to this button. When I click save changes, it's gonna take this object and send it into the edit user object. That shouldn't be too difficult, right? I'm gonna remove this. Uh, what is that save changes right here? So I'm gonna say, when we click this button, we're gonna edit user, then we're gonna put in edited user, just like that. We know that this will be the correct information because whenever we're using this button, this change up here, it's going to be, it's a, it's a, reactive you know it's, it's fast and that's why we use view and react because they're reactive you know they just change like that okay so this should now work all right let's try that so we're going to change valerie's name i'm going to call her valerie i'm going to say her name is valerie um bell Save changes, see that? Happens right away. Happens right away, just like that. Her name is Valerie Bell. Mr. Sheen is going to be Mr. Sheen Smith. If we don't, if we don't do it, nothing happens. Uh, I'm gonna say Mr. Sheen is gonna be Mr. Sheen Smith. Save changes, boom, just like that. But what we really wanna do is once we click the save changes, we want to close this model, right? Cause this doesn't make, this doesn't look good like, like this. So let's close the model once we save the changes. Uh, so all we gotta do is what? Data dismiss model. So I believe all we need to do is just add that there. That should dismiss the model. Let's see if that works and still makes the changes. So Shin Mop is going to be Gregory Dot. Save. There we go. Alrighty. So now you have learned how to use Nux3 with Prisma and gone through the whole CRUD process. 
I hope you liked this video. If you want a Nux 3 Tailwind starter kit that looks like this, has pages, layout, use head composable, components, TypeScript, it's a beautiful starter kit that's going to help you start off building beautiful Nux 3 applications. It comes with a plugin that tells you what today's date is. If you want to learn how to write plugins the right way, that's the um, Nux 3 starter kit to get. I'm in the dark here, right? It's the Nux 3 starter kit to get. It's yours absolutely free. Just click the link below this video and it's yours. Hope you like this video. And uh, I'll see you soon.